OpenAI just released ChatGPT Canvas, a groundbreaking new way to brainstorm and organize ideas while collaborating in real time. It's perfect for planning projects, outlining ideas, or getting creative with an interactive workspace. Multiple people can contribute simultaneously, making teamwork smooth and efficient. User-friendly and combining AI support with live collaboration. It's ideal for group projects, coding, co-editing, and live brainstorming sessions, enhancing productivity and creativity. Let's take a closer look at what is ChatGPT Canvas. Well, we can see from the release notes from OpenAI, we have a new interface here where on the left we have the input and on the right we have the output. More on this a little bit later. There's a little bit of a demo and background information on what it can do. And we can see a bit of an example of ChatGPT Canvas in action here. It details the shortcut buttons we've got to do common tasks that we often have to type in to do, but now we have buttons to do that for us, suggesting edits, adjusting the length, changing the reading level, adding emojis and more. With coding, some shortcuts include review code, Code, add logs, add comments, fix bugs, and port to a language. They all sound like great useful things to do for people that are coding. I don't know anything about coding, but just looking at this example here, and it seems to be doing some pretty good editing on the fly and updating things in real time. So that looks really useful if you're a coder. What's really amazing with ChatGPT Canvas is you can now collaborate with another team member on a document live in real time. So if you're co-working in a creative team where you're collaborating on a document, or if you're a coder and you're working in a team and you're working on that code together at the same time, this new approach is an absolute game changer. So how to access ChatGPT Canvas? Well, first of all, you need to be in the web-based version of ChatGPT, as you can see here. I've got a browser window open, when I come to the drop down menu, you can see ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. Notice that in the ChatGPT desktop app, which I've got open now, when I select up the top here, there is no option for ChatGPT for Canvas. Likewise, with the iPhone app or Android app, when you open up ChatGPT, tap the choice of model up the top here, again, you can see ChatGPT for Canvas isn't there, so you can't use it on phone either. Back here on the web-based version of ChatGPT, and to start a session with Canvas, as I showed you before, come up to this drop-down menu and choose ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. Now also note that we are in beta here, so be aware that OpenAI is still testing and optimizing ChatGPT Canvas, and I'm sure some improvements will come later on after everyone's been using it for a while. Another way you can come in and use ChatGPT Canvas is by coming down the bottom, type in Use Canvas, and it will start the Canvas experience, as you can see here. So essentially we have two sections. We have on the right, the collaboration document that we're gonna be preparing. And also on the left, we have where we work together with ChatGPT or our other team member to put in prompts or ask for changes in the existing document. Okay, if it's not already obvious, you do need to have a subscription to either ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT Teams to be able to access ChatGPT Canvas. As you can see at the top under my plan, I have access to the ChatGPT Plus subscription. And if you're just a ChatGPT free user, you won't have access to ChatGPT Canvas yet. So let's go ahead with the writing example and we're gonna get it to write an intro script for a YouTube video on the new ChatGPT Canvas feature and how to use it. So let's go ahead and create the document. Okay, so here's our introduction paragraph. I won't read that out. So that's a baseline that we can start with. The first thing I'm gonna do is take out the word dive or diving into, because that appears in just about any script that ChatGPT writes for me. Okay, and on the right, you can see that changed in real time, so that's fantastic. Okay, I wanna incorporate all these long tail keyword phrases and use them multiple times and bold them when used. And I've taught ChatGPT the abbreviation is LKP for long tail keyword phrase. So let's see in real time how we go with updating that and bolding out those keywords. Great. You can see it updated in real time. And again, we have in bold all those long tail keyword phrases that I wanted. That's fantastic. Now I'm gonna ask it to take out the fluff and make it more concise. Okay, that's a bit short. It's taken out a few of the keyword phrases that I wanted. So I'll ask it to keep in those keywords that I've asked. So that's the manual way of making changes. Now also down in the bottom right inside Canvas, we have the shortcut area where we can suggest edits, adjust the length, change the reading level, add to final polish or add emojis. And I won't run through these now, but you can see that it's really easy to make these quick changes or prompts, just a click of a button. Okay, that's amazing. It really is simple to collaborate and use an iterative approach to create a document. This is a really short example in this case, but this saves a lot of time for me because in the past, if I were to do this type of thing, creating a script using ChatGPT, I'd have one really long chat session with different versions that ChatGPT had come up with. I'd have to go back and refer to 
version number four, and then that was wrong, so maybe version five, then I get confused and have to start again and copy and paste from here and there. But the way it's presented like this, it's all in one place, and it's really helped me to fine tune scripts on an iterative approach until I get something that I'm really happy with. I mentioned before that you need ChatGPT Plus or Teams to be able to access ChatGPT Canvas. And another new feature updated in a recent release is ChatGPT Advanced Voice Mode. And you can check out this video here to see more about that. It's so cool, go check it out. So I'm sure in the future when OpenAI release more groundbreaking features that will no doubt be reserved for plus users these features such as canvas and advanced voice mode will be available to free users so that's the writing example another great application for using ChatGPT canvas is writing code now I know nothing about writing code but for example I might like to create code for a classic pac-man game okay as you can see it opens straight up into a canvas session and there it is it's made a complete code of how a pac-man game would be Coded. Well, I have no idea if that works or not. So you can see, yeah, move Pac-Man, wall collision, draw Pac-Man, move ghosts randomly, check for collisions with ghosts, and so on and so forth. So that all looks pretty good. And just real quick, showing how you can collaborate with ChatGPT and ChatGPT Canvas to make changes to your code. I've asked it to make the Pac-Man turn red when it collides with a ghost. Let's see if that works. Okay, it checks the whole game. Okay, and we can see here it comes up with the code. If collided with ghosts, Pac-Man color equals red. So that works straight away. Nice and easy. Okay, and still inside Canvas in the bottom right, we have the shortcut buttons, which include code review, port to a language, fix bugs, add blogs, and add comments. I won't go through and do these either right now, but you can see it's a really quick way of making quick changes and checking errors. I'm sure fantastic coding isn't that easy in real life. Or maybe it is with ChatGPT Canvas. Watch this video next to see all about the new ChatGPT Advanced Voice Mode, which is absolutely groundbreaking. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.